All right, Robert, here's what we got going on. Listen, we're in the middle of doing a clean in our shop and uh, I came across all this gold here uh, in our shop. Back in the day, I was a expert faucet repair man, like all service plumbers. And as you see on the table here, we got one, two, three, four sets of tub wrenches, never use them no more. Seat wrenches, customs, octagon squares. I got these squares, uh, seat removals. I even found some seats here. And uh, hold on a second. Here's a real cheesy set of, this is a real cheesy seat puller. See, it's got the octagon and the square. Guaranteed to strip out the faucet, so don't ever use them. I got four of them. I don't know how I got four of them, but I do. Classic, uh, I had a handle puller here. Where'd that go? Handle puller. Put this in the faucet. This goes around the handle and you tighten this and it actually pulls the handle off. So you don't wrench the handle. The best part of what we're gonna be doing here is we have a job to go work on. So in my opinion, I'm not a big fan of working on faucets no more. It just does not pay. Here's a set of Gerber faucets. These are not temporary anti-scold. This is hot, hot, cold mixing valve. You can get scolded from these faucets, and these are courtesy of Bill. He gave me these faucets from the back, and I know why now. Because on these sets of faucets, you have a connection. They're actually missing the brass nuts that actually hold these pieces in, which take a half inch male adapter. So these are rendered useless. They're going to be scrap. This is going to turn into a little uh, adventure right now. But again, we're going to need tub wrenches, we're going to need seat removers, handle puller, and what else? While we're sitting here at the table, I found these all in stock. Half of it's missing parts. We're going to make it work. But back in the day, lamp wick for packing nuts. Lamp wick with graphite, rarely used anymore. And check out these swedges. These are for making uh, pipe in pipe connections. You could actually, this goes from half inch up to one inch. And I can show you how to do that. These are all the classic tools I found in my shop. So we're cleaning it up, getting rid of some stuff in the process of uh, organizing. Let me grab a scrap of copper. So what would happen here is this. Let's say we don't have no couplings. And let's say we got a really uh, solder. You would bang this swedge up to this next section and then be able to hit stuff a piece of copper in there you'd solder it up and clean it up and the sand goes for three quarters sand goes for one inch back in the day really handy today with pro press forget about it just another tool collecting rust now here's a couple tools i don't know what we have which are maybe you guys can help us out out there of course look at these uh flaring blocks never use them no more i know your refrigeration guys do i don't personally I don't know what this is. It looks like some type of, I don't know, help me out here. I got no idea what it does. So if you know what this is, folks, hit us in the comments below. We'd love to know what it is. I'm also not quite sure what this is. I'm gonna guess it's the same type of principle. Put it inside a 3.8 nipple maybe, crank it out, and it'll extract the nipple. And then also we have, man, maybe a quarter inch. Robert, do you know what this is? No clue. All right, this is my shop guy, Robert, the amazing hob. And do you guys know what this is out there? We're not even gonna answer this question yet until I have the other part that goes with it. I'm gonna give you a hint, Robert. What's this do? It's for a striker to light a torch. Oh. These are replacement flints. See, we run PEX Pro Press way too much or we use a lighter. Here, I have a case of a coffee can full of Quest fittings. They're going in the trash. Does anybody need them before I toss them? If I were you, I would never use them. Forget about them, they're garbage. We all went from Quest to Pex, and you all know about the lawsuit. A hammer, a mini troll. We don't have this problem around here, but I thought this was interesting. If you need it, we'll mail it to you. And that's about it. And some of the modern, more modern tools, boot removals. And then, of course, I had a couple of these, which for high crime or high vandalism areas for uh, hose bibs, uh, on-off two-way keys. 
So, and of course, the chalk line, which we could still use, but we love the laser. And that's it. So our big task of the day, I'm gonna just pause for a sec. Our big task is gonna go repair this faucet, okay? In case we miss the shots on our next job, here's everything that can go wrong when you try to repair a faucet. So you're in the wall and you got the old China, the old China uh, tile wall going here. First thing we gotta do is get the handles off, okay? And we break out our handle pour. If you don't strip the screw, you have an opportunity to take the handle off with the handle puller. Boom, it goes on and you pull off the handle. Okay, going great, right? Awesome. Now, you gotta go in the wall. This is generally in the wall or flush with the wall where you can't get a pair of uh, channel locks on it or adjustable wrench. So then you gotta go tub wrench. So then you get in there and, and you can get a bite on this uh, thing on the stem and you use your I used to use screwdriver or whatever of course the water's got to be off bang you snap off the stem you get it on the first try it breaks free you unscrew it and wow we're doing great now right okay now it's time to change this washer if you don't strip that screw you can change that washer okay now the next step is you got the new washer and you're doing great and this seat sits here so that this new washer can, and this is what actually shuts off your water. Has to have a clean seat, new washer, boom, it tightens down, you're gold, if it goes great. So now we're gonna take out the seat, and I've done this a million times. Seat comes out, great. Oh, it has a little nick in it because it's worn out. Break out the fine sandpaper if you ain't got no seats with you. Sand this down to a nice brass finish. It gives you a flat surface, will work. Now, I've done this many times also. Get the seat wrench in there, strip it, you're done. New faucets. Now, I don't have here, they do make a ceramic quarter turn stem, which requires all three seats to come out to make it even work, worth putting in. And this is Gerber brand. It's a ceramic quarter turn, the seat must come out, there's no washer, I don't have one here to show you, but it's an on-off stem within the body. Uh, the body of the stem is actually the washer, on-off, quarter turn. They're actually pretty nice. I don't even know if they sell them anymore. To be honest with you, I haven't worked on faucets in 20 years, but I had to bring it up because of all that we have here, and uh, now we're going to go attempt to repair a faucet. Stay tuned, and we'll see you there. A few hours later. That's hot water too. Okay. All right. Let's do it. That's gonna leave you a long time. Perfect. We're doing a. Uh, we can't get the water off right now. You know what stokes me out even more? When there's a flat head screw in there. I don't have a flat head screw in there. Surprise number one is flat head screws. You know? Look at this. Who does that? Not strip though. Nah. Handle puller. So now grips the back of the handle. And the idea is like uh, this goes into the stem. Now that's actually coming off really, really hard. Boom. There it is. And you don't scratch it, you don't use the pliers. So on podium originally. Okay, now you do gotta make sure these are uh, actually open when you do this. Especially when you put them, you wanna make sure the water's off. That's the hot side now being open. This is actually broken off. 
someone actually did this already. And that's what happens. Breaks the stem, screw right off, and now you're in big trouble. It should just snap right off. Now, you don't know if anybody worked on these before, cross-threaded them, stripped out the seats. And we're going to find out in two seconds if this is even doable. See the washer? Now, here's the best part. I'm going to put my finger in here fill the seat. The seat has a big chunk out of it. You're going to see where there's a big chunk out of that seat at the 10 o'clock position. That's your seat, and it has to come out. So, my next concern is stripping out the seat this is actually your seat remover right here and again all this time to try and fix these is sometimes a waste of time and again this should be a quarter turn boom got it And I tried buying the ceramic seats, stems. Now I can really show you. This is where your leak is, right here. So when that washer, which is garbage right now, which this seat probably tore up, this washer sits there and shuts down. There's no way they can shut off. And that's why there's a major hot water leak. All right. So with that being said, Let's try to get these other three out, and we'll keep it moving. That goes the same for all three. Seats got to come out, stems got to come out, handles got to come off, and then we put in the new seats, the new stems, and the new hardware. All Gerber spouts are male adapters. Boom. That's some old Teflon there. That will do you. This is for the next guy who wants to take these out. You cannot strip these going in. I should take off my gloves so I can get the real feel. Boom. How tight do you make those? Just cinch them up. There's no, it's just like a mechanical joint in there. This is what stops the water. You know? Stop. And they all turn left to right. You can't mix them up except for the center. Look at this. Packing nut right here. Hand tight. So when we get this in, we got to cinch this up. Make sure she don't leak. Big time leaks come out of these. Be good to daddy right here. Come on now. <coughs> okay. But look, this has to be tightened. We won't do that yet. Uh, diverter stem, please. The, hold on. Did I introduce you to Dave? Super Dave? Dave, smile. You too. I love you too. Dave, this is this is you. This is I'm all just, you. I'm just a sister. You're doing a great job. At, uh, a great assistant knows the next three moves. Means, Dave, if you ain't got that cold stem in your hand, you're not failing. You're failing me right now. Yeah, that's right. Here. Right on. See what I'm saying? I'm only kidding with Dave, but a, a great helper knows the next three things. Uh, putty, you know, just on any job, every every. Every step of every job has many steps in that. For a great helper to have the next three ready, couldn't ask for more. You just want to, you want to tighten these a little bit. You don't want to crank them because then the handle will be so hard to turn. And that's a real common leak on uh, three handle diverters. And the most common ceiling leak on a tub is these three holes and that tub spout. So you want to tighten these stems in with it open so you don't tighten the stem onto the seat with it already closed. So the deal here is they're going to remodel this bathroom. It's the only reason we're doing this. But here's the thing. You can do all this work and still have a drip. How about this kit? We got to give a shout out to this kit for that. The handyman wants some battle of repair. 
for real though, so right? So many things can go wrong here. This is the keep it simple system, the KISS. I can't tell you the last time I did this. This illustration is going quite well. I'm gonna say it again, cause I just have it. Like, cold, cold's always on the right. Cinch, don't cry and kill it. Just a little cinch. New water mains coming soon. <laughs> Dave, what do you think? Pro. All right, there it goes. It went really, really good. You see no drip, no drips from the stems. It's a rock star. I don't recommend it. We got really lucky. <laughs> what we got, Dave?